Hello ladies and gents, this is Kano from the Gamer Section and welcome to a brand new episode of the Gamer Section's Daily News. During a conference call during Activision's first quarter earnings call, CFO Dennis Durkin detailed the company's plan for the second half of the year. He of course pointed to the 2020 Call of Duty and World of Warcraft expansion title that will be their prime money makers, but also dropped that they have two games based on existing IPs that are unannounced. Both of those are apparently slated to come out this year. Turning to the second half of this year, our planned slate includes a new Call of Duty premium title, two releases based on our extensive library of IP from Activision, and Blizzard's Shadowlands expansion of World of Warcraft. Durkin did not reveal what those games were, but there were recent rumors a new Tony Hawk title would be coming this year, and with the Crash remake being the Smash success, they were one would think something is the works for the old Bandicoot. Both of these titles are slated for this year, so we will find out more what they are real soon. We've got a number of new incubation products that are starting to come together that are looking exciting for the future, said Wilson. I don't think we've ever had as robust a pipeline of content ahead of us as we have right now. I don't think we've ever had the level of execution that we're seeing around the development of launch of content and the management of ongoing live services than we have right now. And while there are always challenges and interesting hurdles that we face delivering great interactive entertainment experiences, I would tell you I'm very excited by what I see, more so than I have been for our pipeline for a long time. What's interesting is that in the, that lineup of games, EA also plans on launching new IP for multiple platforms, console PCs, and mobile. We've talked about before about having new IP in development, both for console and PC and for mobile, Wilson said. We're excited about that. There's not a lot that we know for sure about what games EA planned on releasing in the coming months and years. Yearly sports series will see releases, of course, and EA also confirmed that Battlefield 6 is coming next year, while a sequel to uh, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order is also in the works. NetherRealm Studios has announced a new expansion for Mortal Kombat 11 called Aftermath, taking place after the main story. This is a new cinematic narrative that features the likes of Shang Tsung and new characters like Fujin and Shivya. Also, Robocop appears because why not? Along with a new story expansion, there's a free content update bringing brings new stages, stage fatalities, including a hook to impel foes and lower them into acid and friendships. Aftermath seems to be paid content, which includes three skin packs, along with three new characters and a new story. New players can also purchase Mortal Kombat 11 Aftermath collection, which includes the compact pack one in the base game, also Aftermath. Now for more on the latest in gaming culture, make sure you check out the gamer section. Make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for when we drop videos because we do this for the gamers, by the gamers.